Hello people, today I'm going to show you how to loop an audio in Final Cut Pro 10. Firstly, I'm going to show you how to loop entire soundtrack and followed by say a part of the soundtrack or a sound effect. Okay, here comes the audio part. So usually I'll just use one single background music and just loop it all the way throughout the entire video and as you can see this music is around two minutes it's very short time so what I do is that at the end of this clip where this music has a kind of a uh, you know before the end is like a sort of like a moment when it can be looped back to the starting part I can always just create a marker pressing M and then I copy this entire clip and just paste it over here so this is like it'll start at a moment where the music is kind of creating a loop by itself and I just copy and paste at the next marker a few times later this is like a loop in itself and I can copy all of them together and paste them again and this is kind of a very simple loop for my videos and this is the way I've always done it okay I'm gonna use the type writers sound effect as an example to show you how to loop a sound effect or just loop a part of the clip so let's drag this to the timeline and have a listen you see the first part is about da 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 so I want this part to be on repeat you can always just look for the gap there's a significant gap over here and if you want to have a quick repeat you can cut a very precise and uh, close up cut like this and similar to just now just copy over and you can hear it again as you can see the gap between these two is minimal and if you want it to be even more precise you can do a little bit of trimming like this yep so you can copy the extra uh, extra precise clip a few times so you can have a ta 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 for three four times yeah so and uh, if you want to make the ta 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 this third one to be a little bit longer you can just drag it like this and yeah you can copy over the next one and similar to just now to trim it a little bit more and loop it yep you see ta 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 so the moral of the story is actually very simple you just have to find the correct gap and do some very precise trimming of the sound effect or audio track and that's all you need to do and copy over for a few times and maybe make a compound clip like this press option ng this is gonna be easier for you to drag long and do some minor and more precise editing on the master project file and that's all for today's tutorial hope guys enjoy this and please remember to subscribe and like my channel bye bye